Well, with me now is the Education Secretary, Michael Gove, who attended this morning's COBRA crisis meeting. Law and order, the safety of citizens, is such a basic duty of government, and you have failed. I absolutely agree it's a basic duty, and I think that the response last night was not robust enough. I don't think anyone could have anticipated the scale of criminality that we saw last night, and it's vitally important in a conflict between right and wrong that we reinforce the forces of right. And that's why there are more police on the streets of London tonight, and that's why, as we've heard from Metropolitan Police officers, there will be a robust approach to ensure that uh, those who break the law face the full force of the law. So police will be behaving differently tonight. It's not just that there are more of them. There will be a crackdown. The two are connected. As we saw last night, the scale of what was happening and the fact that it was occurring on a, to an extent that um, I don't think anyone anticipated placed a strain on the Metropolitan Police. I think, actually, that officers behaved with amazing fortitude and resilience and courage. But we needed more police on the streets. But we're That's on day we've... four, aren't we? I mean, how, how is it that it's only on day four that you're saying last night's response wasn't good enough? Well, we started I mean, off... this is a product of inaction, isn't it, by the government? Well, we started off with one particular um, incident occurring in Harringay, and then I don't think anyone at that time anticipated that what was happening in Tottenham which was linked to a specific event in the, in the minds of many, was going to lead to the extent of criminality that we saw. And we recognise, quite rightly, that if you're going to deal with a situation of the kind that we saw last night, then you're going to have to crack down hard on those who have been breaking the law. And I think the fact that there are 16,000 police officers on the streets of London tonight and that they have a mandate and a mission to seek and to pursue should provide all of those who, like me, are angry at what happened with the reassurance of knowing that the Prime Minister is clear. These people are criminals and they need to be caught, prosecuted and jailed. But why didn't you get this on Monday morning? When, when you were saying the Prime Minister doesn't need to come back from a holiday, Boris Johnson doesn't need to come back from holiday... I mean, do, do you accept not just that this, was, that this took everyone by surprise, but that you failed to understand this almost from the beginning? Well, there'll be time, I think, in due course for people to analyse what the specific factors were that led to the violence occurring in the way that it did. But I don't believe that anyone anticipated that we would see violence on the scale that we have. And the question now is that, given that we're all confronting a situation, which, as this programme has recognised, hadn't been anticipated, then we need to make sure that the forces are there. So we can look back and we can learn lessons. But the challenge now, I think, is to make sure that we have the resources that are needed. For example, last night, as Simon Israel was reporting, we saw the deployment of uh, vehicles on the streets in Clapham. There are more armoured vehicles in the, uh, in the hands of the police ready to be used and operational this evening. And there are other changes that have taken place as a result of the police analysing what succeeded and what didn't succeed last night. I've been asking viewers for their questions for you, and there's a, there's a terrific amount of anger at what they see as inaction. But I have to ask you, as Education Secretary, yes. do you have any explanation as to how thousands of young people, many of them school age, find themselves rioting? How, how are they so disconnected? Well, you asked the question about disconnection. I think that there will be time, there has to be time, for a proper examination of the factors that have led to the violence that's you, occurred. You, you have no explanation? Well, no, I have some evidence, but I think that no one should jump readily to any conclusions, because we've already seen people who've frankly rendered themselves foolish by saying that they have an explanation for everything that's been happening. There have been some people who've made facile connections between events which they claim have been driving this event, but actually we know that those connections have been unproven... Uh, sorry, have been disproven by what's been happening on the ground. We know that some of what is happening is organised criminality driven by gangs and gang culture. We know that there's been an embedded problem with gang culture in parts of the capital and other major cities for years now. We know that the police have been attempting to break that and they've been using more and more sophisticated techniques to do so, but we also know that some of the organised criminals behind it are sophisticated themselves. We also know, given some of the leaflets that have been picked up, that there may well be an element of um, uh, agitation behind this, which is designed particularly to um, uh, cause a greater degree of trouble than um, uh, any of us could have envisaged. So there is evidence and we are analysing what needs to okay. be done, but I think it's too soon to say that we have a total picture of what is inevitably a challenging situation that requires, above all, a security response. Michael Gove, thank you for coming in tonight.